Well, spring's here now in England, but tomorrow morning I'm off back to France again. So see spring starting there again. Lovely summer's or early spring's morning here. Light's beautiful. And the buds are all coming out now and the flower's about to start, which I'm going to find in France. Hopefully paint there again. Here's the very bunch of flowers that I just painted earlier in acrylics. In fact, if I wasn't going to tomorrow, I would be painting this today. Let's hope the plum trees are out as well in France as this. Oh, that card is now getting covered in ivy. Hello, holly dog. Come on, then. There's my good girl. Miss you, won't we? Hmm? Yes, we will. Come over next week. No, you can't come. You won't be coming until summer, will you? Motorway driving down towards Paris. And if I see uh, half a dozen cars every kilometre, it's a lot. So it's just nice, easy city driving, but it's into the light. Test junction 17. Well, I've been driving now for uh, just over 13 hours, and uh, we've only got another 56 miles to go. Sorry, 56 kilometres to go now. We're still driving towards the sun, but uh, motorway driving has been nearly, nearly all. Uh, 80 miles, an hour, 80 miles an hour, so it's not too bad, not much traffic. The worst was going through Paris, that was awful. Well, that's it, we're off the motorway now and onto the main road. You can see the changing countryside already, as you can see all the trees are in blossom here now. Just see some deer through here. Two kilometres away now. Well, there we Destination are. on the left of meters. As the lady says, we are there. Destination on the left, 37 kilometres off. So let's see what the damage is, what the burglars have been and so on. Got some new bins outside. And uh, everything to catch up with, the posts and everything else. I've arrived to find that Orange have not reconnected me as they promised to do five weeks ago and I have no internet and no phone this morning and I've got this work to finish as well where water has leaked and come through and unfortunately wasn't seen quite in time but I've got to repaint this bit it's all dry now and redo that and all the paintings have now been brought in uh, brought over with me from England ready for the exhibitions here so there's a lot to do this morning try and catch up before I can start to enjoy the place again and the lawns are up to about 10 inches high so I better get all of that done Oh 
well as you see I'm back here now and I've just mowed the lawns and rather stupidly uh, caught my foot on the gear lever as I stepped off it to open the gate and the thing just shut off without me and sent myself smack onto a concrete step. I'm going to go and wash this in a minute and I think I'm all right. I was nearly unconscious for a moment. Just lucky I'm not worse. I hope I'm not. And uh, not a very good start to my time here. Finding that somebody's actually broken in here, left it locked up. We can't see how and why, but we've replaced the locks and some other things that happened last autumn that have been most unpleasant. Um, and I've come back to not having the internet and telephone on because Orange haven't done their job properly and got that connected, so I've got to wait another few days before I can contact anybody or do anything. It's just as well it's not an emergency now, isn't it? And uh, But we'll see. Peace and quiet of the place. Hopefully I'll feel better about things when I got back into it a bit. But not, we're not a very happy bunny at the moment. Well, not quite so bad now it's cleaned up. It'll be a bit of a headache though. I think I'll have a drink or something and sit down a while, eh? Well, that's him or not, the things that must be done. So if I don't remember who nobody else will look. At least I've looked at the locks that were fitted while I was away, and two of them you can't even get the key in one side, so it's not a very good job there, I'm afraid. I have to replace them anyway. We can do a final coat on this. A nice smooth finishing coat, I hope. Right, well that's that job done again. We painted the rough wall and some of the ceiling and plastered up the best I can for the moment. And now, and I've just got the bottles out here. So it's time to think about rotivating the front garden. These and iris are just starting and a little bit of sunshine out here now. And from last year we've still got a nice crop of spinach we can have. With some tea. I've got to dig all of this over now. And few leaks there that might just be all right, a bit small, but we'll see. The good news is that artichoke has spread. So a lot to do here. In the greenhouse, everything has to come out. There's some fresh spring greens first this year from the garden from last year. Still got some spinach to go and some lovely parsnips, little parsnips to come later for a roast. As you see here, now you can see it's just been rotivated basically and I've got to refine it with a rake. And then I can start to work out what's planting. I've got to buy some potatoes in yet, but I've got most other things. Mm -hmm. Rubbish out from the greenhouse, it's just a matter of setting it up. He's got the new greenhouse set up there, his new uh, polytunnel. And all the blossoms coming out, and there is also a blossom on my little peach. A more peaches this year, isn't that nice to see? Mono's house. Changing weather, I've just spent nearly 250 euros at uh, the local supermarket in Marche and now it's snowing. I've stocked up ready for the summer. As it comes, it goes, and the sun comes through again. It's changeable spring weather here. April's always a lot of rain. So we're on our way now to La Souterraine. Go to the fishing tackle shop. It's La Soutpeche, and they have most things here. It's only 15 minutes away from me. And if I need everything, or you come and fish here, then you can find most of the things you require. Although some things will be a little different to the English tackle. If you want to set up a bivy overnight, everything is here for comfort, for the carpist. Lots of different baits. And Anne Marie has come to visit me. We're going to have a little lunch today. It's our first meeting for six months. She wears the same glasses, the same hat, even in dull days. I don't change. <laughs> Why? Pourquoi change? Pas nécessaire. I want to see Hmm? You see most. Uh, 
Are you ready? Santé. Nouveau été, oui. It's good wine, yes. So my starter, and now the um, fish has arrived. Good. <laughs> C'est pour moi, merci. Connaissance des arts. seed potatoes and I'm just trying to see if I can find where Mitch lived. Help them find the house here and she's been here over winter. So it'd be nice to say hello if I can find her. Well I found her house, the dogs are there but she wasn't, but we'll catch up later. and the veg, putting everything away for the summer and <coughs> just quickly mowed the front lawn and as I did so, down comes the hail. <laughs> oh well, must be getting better in a week. So let's get a nice log fire going and warm up. I can sit in my rocking chair and relax for the evening and put a film on. Well it's been three days now and we're knocking things into shape, getting the garden ready for sealing up. The back garden now is mown and I've got my pots out again there and the glass bottles. The uh, hammock is up, moon around, the owl's out, and uh, I've just cleaned out the pond this morning. Got piles of crap out of that so that the lilies can grow. I've wired the lilies across there as they were drifting about. You can see the amount of rubbish I've taken out over here, and uh, that should give it the fish more space and a lot more oxygen this year, and those lilies can grow out a bit. And the moss and the um, blossoms all coming out now, which is lovely. You can see that lovely white blossom down there on the big cherry tree there. Lovely. Might have a go at painting that later, we'll see. Front garden's now prepared and ready for seeding too. We'll see. Looks a lot better already, doesn't it, with them? A little bit of a long moan and our spinach ready to eat and I put some potatoes in, put that many in this year, this half here and just two lines of different one down there. I'm glad that artichoke's taken well from lupins and poppies, what's left of the old leeks and uh, beetroot and the flower beds here trying to establish there and there. I've just pushed that herb up, that lavender up like that because it was dropping down too much. So there we are, we're prepared and ready to plant up in the next few weeks. It's a beautiful evening light here, as the sun goes down now. And I settle into the evening with another log fire. Well here I am back at Simon's Pond again once again. It's a frosty morning and I don't think we're going to have a bite at all but it's just nice to come and have a go and have a look. He's cleared a lot of the uh, rubbish away from the side. It's a lot different now. It's a bit easier to fish. And the water's cleaned up again. I think he lost a lot of fish last year without knowing it when the water got rather stagnant. But uh, it was a shame. Um, but anyway, we'll have a little go this morning with a bit of worm and a few maggots to just see if anything's out here. We don't have high hopes. As I say, it's just nice to be out again and uh, to listen to this bird song, isn't it just wonderful? There is still a little roach in here at least, which would be handy for bait another time, won't they? 
We just had a bite on the uh, ledger rod from the worm, but uh, pulled the worm off and didn't catch. Let's just hope for something today. It's cleared all around here now, which is much better. And we could just drop a rod down here now, which we couldn't before. And it's a good spot. And we'll just try out by these trees. Right. Missed him. There we go. Another little one. And another little tiddler. That's all we're going to get today, I think, here. But it's something. I'm back into the life in France and I've got friends coming around here at the moment. Mitch, as I say, who joined us last year. We found him a house locally. Um, he's been on her own a while and doing up the place. He's coming over to visit this midday. And Simon and his mate are coming to build us here, um, who help me with fishing and so on. And I've got my English sausages and bacon. So they're coming over for some brunch and we're going to supply them with a nice English cooked breakfast they haven't had for a while, I reckon. In the meantime, I've got to prepare also for Rosie coming tomorrow. And I want to put together a slow casserole here, uh, some beef and onions and, uh, and nice fresh mushrooms and so on. So I've got a bit to do to catch up before they come. Right, they're here, so let's be getting on with things. It's been a while since I've had the uh, magic full English. Link into their sausages as well, it's got to be good. English sausages? Link into sausages. Link into not just English, link into sausages. Sitting at the table, <laughs> wondering what's going on. Right, I've got my pals here for breakfast. Hello, everybody. Morning. And, and we've done a, an English breakfast because they haven't had English sausages and bacon for ages. And, and poor Mitchie hasn't had bacon for a while, have you? <laughs> Even Scottish bacon. Is that all right, mate? Yep. Good. That's right. Oh god, I should be. I saw your plate the other day. Oh, that big one. Yeah. <laughs> That's my kind of plate. <laughs> Proper, so we had, um, we've had a few good boxes in the evening. Never been the crash day, it crashed. I'm going to use the myself. Beautiful morning mist here in the valley of the cruise this morning, early April. As you can see by all the flowers coming out here. What an absolutely glorious scene. Fresseline's there in the distance. And the mountains behind. Sun just coming up over the top. You're painting here actually. Rose is now here, just arrived. She's very tired, but I uh, hope she'll enjoy it. Right, well, you see the spinach now here, and I've now prepared the garden. So, I've got to plant the flower seeds all around here. Left this part now we've got um, I've got coloured chard growing all along the side of the flower bed here that'll be fun. I prepared this lot for plant seeds uh, for the vegetable seeds. That's where the Monge two peas are going. Potatoes all behind. Over here now I've been putting all flower seeds around here ready. This is left for cabbages and beetroot and that's for the main crop peas. Behind all of that to that trench is the uh, broad beans and behind that potatoes and then the flower beds again. The whole of that half is now onions and the right will be all maize and that part's all potatoes. Now we're trying another experiment this year and that's this English way of using these pots in the grow bags. Last year I had these big tubs, it was all right. So I've got my seeds in there, the maize seeds and the runner beans and so on in there. I'll try these tubs out in the grow bags this, this time and see how they do. I know that some people had great success over in England last year with them so I thought I'd try them here. And over that far side I'm going to put my runner beans all the way along the back in front of the polytunnel this year. So some basic 
ground has been broken, ready and prepared. And it's just a matter of waiting for the right time to plant up, which won't be long, but a little bit warmer yet maybe. Morning now, sun's out, it's still cool up here in the mountains, but I've decided to take a chance and plant up because everything's coming out in nature, so surely it must feel it's on the way. So I've now got all my little packets of seeds. I've left a line here for some beetroot later, and I should buy some plugs. Peas are all in now, potatoes are all in now, parsnips, everything else along there, and got my peas in here. But I noticed that the mice were already going along my lines last night and taking out some of the broad beans, little wretches. But everything else is there, except for the plants growing up in the greenhouse to yet come out. Favourite patisserie. Uh, oh. <laughs> dandelions out this time of year. Electric fence and cows. Hello, Mr. Moo Cows. Mrs. Moo Cows of the river. See if we can catch a few fish. We won't fish this time. It's a shame, but another day, plenty of time. The water is very low and the bluebells are just starting to come out, look here. Look at the money bridge again. Can't fish other spots, well, but it will go down here and just see if anything's doing. I don't want it to be much. And there's our koi pew. Here we are back again the next morning. And there's no fishermen down here this time, so we've got it to ourselves. It's a Clear but slightly grey spring morning, and uh, we're going to have a go at these bream. The water's not flowing too fast, so we'll give it a little go. Oh, I thought I would have had a bite from a bream by now already, but it's fine. The water's very cold, I guess. Well, a lovely place, but it's been a very poor start to the season for me. Um, lost one bit of gear already. I've had one little nibble on the worm and a small bleak. It's lovely to be here, but it's a poison. There's no green at all so far. So I'll stay another hour or so and see you then. Maybe pack up. Well, we've we'll put a couple of maggots on. Got some worm out, but I don't know for the first time ever since I've come here. There's nothing. It's gone weird on me. So, uh, little bites and worm at all so far, so let's try a couple of maggots down here and see what that does. I was catching these little ones yesterday, but even so, it's a bit worrying. This not a bite on worm at all, there's always some bream here. Always has been. Let's try out there and see if we can get anything in the interest going. Just out in the current there, as it drifts down. Well, look at that, a little tiddler, a little bleak. Well, it's something, at least you haven't been water licked. Well, on the worm, we had a little bite just now, and what have we got but a, a wee perch, which is two species but hardly worth jumping for joy over. Well, we're into a fish and it feels like quite a good one. Let's see what we've got here then. I don't think it's a bream, I don't know. Not quite what it is yet. Didn't give a bite, just went downstream. It's interesting. Whatever it is, it's interesting. 
this is what we got. Oh no, it's it is a bream, I think. Oh no, 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 it's what I thought in the first place. This look it shows the small ones here, so the big one should be later. There we go, all ready for it. Oh no, <laughs> I keep changing my mind on it, but it's not a solera at all, it's a lovely bream. Beautiful bream, biggest I've had here I think. Lovely fish, look at that. Big fish. Let's get that into the net. That's a slab of a bream. Yeah, that really is. So not so bad after all. They're not what I was expecting. That's a lovely fish. Come along. There we go. Oh yes, what's good? Four pound or five pound? That is. That's a lovely fish. My word, that's a biggie. Look at that. That's a beauty, an absolute stonker. Oh, what a lovely fish that is. Well, what a start to the season. What a beautiful big fish. That's about a good four to five pound. I should think about five pound, that one. What a lovely way to start the season off, isn't it? It's getting back in again. That was a way He's off good. He's away safely. Uh, it's not a such big bream this time, but a nice little fish all the same. A little, I'm just putting some tackle together. And uh, I've got a slow bite and my tackle box falls over on me, which is not really good. That's better. And if, uh, there's a nice little bream in now again. It's nice to have two fish today. Oh, rocky place is a difficult one. There we go. I'll get it in there. What have we got this time? Not as big as the last one, but not a bad fish all the same. Oh yes, here we go. Actually, I think it's a... I'm not even sure it's a bream. It's a nice chub. Oh, a little chub, but it's a nice chub. It's a little chub. There we go. Nice little chub there, look. So another species for us. Over there on the worm. Put him off and we'll put him back in again, quick. Don't want them out too long in conditions. Nice little chub. Back in again. Carefully. And we go. Off he goes. We're just casting a few yards out, fishing about nine foot. And it's just on the bank, on the, on the shelf as it goes down. And here we are again, another nice little fish on the maggot this time. I started catching a little bream now on the maggot, so there we go. I'm just starting to get some nice fish on the on the light rod. It looks like a little chub on here. It's on this light tackle it's really getting a good spot. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, it's a nice little fish that, whatever it is. Surprising. Ooh, having a good go on this. We've got one and a half pound line on, so be very careful. Yes, nice little chub again. I haven't had many chub in here in the past. Got two today, one on worm and one on maggot. Look, there we go. That's lovely. Oh, he's a nice fish too. That's uh, a fish of about a pound and a half. Do well. There you are, another nice little chub. Back in. Well, I've had a couple of hours now and caught five fish, a couple of them nice ones, so I'm happy. 
Uh, I'm surprised there aren't shoals of smaller bream about, but I'm sure the fish are here and when the water warms a bit we'll see more of them. Uh, but at least I've caught my first fish this season and had a lovely time. Now we're going to go off to the market. Twigs up in the mountains here. Beetle. Brimstone butterfly, an early one. One of the earliest butterflies out. Bells are just starting to come out. Last year's large tortoise shells. Not much colour yet. Changing light over here. It's far too soft to paint today, really, but it's still a lovely time. Well, here we are at Crozant, one of Rose's favourite views. We take a little walk up here. It's a lovely spring morning, so this is the first of our summer films of the 2019 series. So, I'll do a bit more filming. There's a few more days yet before I put the film up. So, let's continue our walks and our voyages in France and the cruise area and share the life with you. Whilst we can. Enjoying your stay here again then? Yes. Nice to be back, is it? Yes.